hello there beautiful people welcome back to my channel my name is Winfrey if you are new thank you for passing by please do subscribe and ring that notification bell down below so that you can notified every time I upload a new video so in today's video as you can tell by the title of this video it's gonna be a favorite of mine because I love shoes I don't know if you know that but I'm just telling you so in particular we're gonna be talking about heel tips and uh, actually this video was inspired by some lady who commented on one of my previous videos I'm gonna insert the thumbnail of that video somewhere here so and uh, I'll also link it down in my description box below we're gonna be talking about how I protect and kind of prolong their wearability and I'm gonna share with you just a few tips I don't really ha I don't really do much with my shoes I don't do a lot but I'm gonna share with you just a few things that I do to make sure they are kept in a better condition for a long time. So without further ado, let's proceed on to this video. The lady who commented on my video was asking about where to get the, where to get the heel tips. And I'm really sorry to say that I don't really buy heel tips. So I can't, I don't really know where they sell them. I know they are sold, I just don't know where. I've never tried to buy any because I don't really buy them. I just have them. And that is what I'm here to talk to you about today. So as we all know, with extensive wear of our favorite pairs of heels, naturally they will deteriorate because that's what they do. We all walk on the same ground. So it's always better to replace the exposed tip before the inner tip actually, before the inner tip starts to protrude. Because walking on an unstable heel can cause balancing issues. You wouldn't want that. But, and also wearing damaged shoes can further the damage and will shorten the life of your favorite pair of pumps. The very first thing that I make sure before I buy any pair of shoe, especially high heel, make sure that there is an extra pair of heel tips in the box. That is my number one requirement. If there isn't, usually I do not buy because there is a specific amount that I spend on every pair. If it's kind of beyond and I'm not getting my extra pair of tips, I won't buy it. I really won't buy it. I'm not saying all the pair of shoes I have, they have these extra tips, but uh, if I find a pair of shoe at a lower price, like kind of on sale and stuff, and they are not selling them in boxes, I'll just buy it because it's it's not expensive. Mm -hmm. So now like um, I have here a few pairs. These are one of my new pairs of shoes. So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So in something like that, before I buy my shoes, I always ask from where I buy them if they have if they come with extra heel tips. And they will usually they don't even know what I'm talking about, but I do. So I'm like, let's go. I wanna see. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So they bring me the boxes and I'll check the boxes. So as you can see, these are the shoes. I'm gonna show you my shoes. This is one of my new pairs. I love this shoe. I've not actually worn it. As you can see, it's still new. This is what I look out for. This right here, heel tips. So for every pair of shoe I buy, I always make sure I have these. Because by the time this wears out, I can easily remove this and replace it with this and my shoe will go back to normal if you get what I mean it will be like it has never been worn before so that is the very first thing that I do when buying my shoes the same applies to this other pair this is another favorite pair of mine it's also still new I've never actually worn it outside but I did take pictures in it you can see down here it's such a beauty it's so beautiful you can see specifically this design right here but as you can tell it also has a very thin heel tip so this means if you're not careful it can easily it like, you need an extra if you don't this is gonna have just a few wears and if this is out you cannot walk on this heel without the tip like it's very frustrating walking on squeaky that they make that weird noise that weird squeaky sound that it's 
very irritating. I hate it. So once this one wears down, you have your extra right here. I want to show you, in case you did not watch my previous video, how I replace my heel tips once that happens. So I have these shoes right here. These are one of my favorite pairs. This is a very old pair of mine. I love these shoes, if you can see. But I've had, uh, I've taken good care of it. And also the other thing, guys, be careful not to step in puddles, slush, or stuff like you know those uh, scenarios where you walk and your heel gets stuck in. Uh, are they called the, the cement lines in those cement lines like you can be walking if you're not careful and then your heel will just get uh, get we just get stuck in the it oh my goodness this, that thing happened to me to me once and it happened with my new pair of shoes these are the shoes right here it was my very first time to wear these shoes they were brand new and i was rushing to go get a taxi and as i was rushing actually i was in a haste and then i ran to go find the taxi but what happened was i stepped in one of those pairs like in between them in between the lines and see what happened it got stuck if you can see it got stuck and removing it was a hassle as you can see right here it got damaged it got a crack right here and this is a velvet uh, the material is velvety so you cannot really do much with this damage i there's no i there's no way i can repair this so even if i try to remove the heel tip this will still look bad so this i only wore it once and I can tell that I'm soon getting rid of it just because of this. The life of a pair of heels is here. So you need to take good care of your heel tips when you're moving. Just be careful where you're stepping and all that kind of stuff so that you can preserve the beauty of your shoes so that you can have a few wears in them. You spend money on your shoes, you want them to stay a bit longer. So these ones have worn down. If you can see the heels, you see this? This is already exposed. And then this one still has a little rubber on it, but it needs to come out because the, the inside, the inner tip is exposed. I have to remove this and put new ones. I do have some extra pair for these. My shoes are gonna get back to normal. And I'm gonna and also if you haven't checked out my shoe collection video I'm gonna put it in the description box below so you can check that out once we are done here and all you're gonna need is a pair of pliers and then I have plenty of heel tips you can see all these are heel tips all of these are heel tips I have a lot of them so all I need to do is uh, look for the ones that I want to replace. As you can see, this one is uh, kind of transparent. So I need to look for the exact one. These are the ones specifically for these shoes. Look at this, guys. Let me move closer so that you guys can see. So I have to, I'm going to have to twist it. See what I'm doing? Twisting as you're pulling. You twist as you pull. Twist as you pull. You be careful not to place the pliers on this, uh, on the heel itself because it's going to get cracked. So you have to be careful to press it exactly on the metal. As you can see, it's already coming out. This is already coming out. See that? Yeah, and you're gonna be left with this hole in here. And that is where we are going to put this. So all you're gonna do is place this tip inside in here, just like that. It's very simple, just like that. You're gonna place it in there and you're gonna need uh, you're going to need a hammer for this but i do not have a hammer i don't have a hammer i have here something that i can use please don't judge me and i'm going to use this wooden something 
so all you're going to do is uh, just gently tap this in like you be gentle there's just a little bit of space left you want to make sure that you do not leave any space it has to be intact so and by the way you can also use uh, you can also use the flow if you don't have any of this you can use the flow but you just have to be gentle and voila my shoe is brand new no one can tell like you can't tell me nothing please give me a like and comment down below if you've learned something today subscribe if you are not because you cannot tell me you're not learning something here so i'm gonna do the same onto the other My shoes are brand new again. See that? See, there's no gap at all. You should make sure that there's no gap at all. My shoes are brand new. So guys, that has been it with this video. This is all. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned something today. Thank you so much for watching please subscribe give me a like comment down below if you've learned something or if you ever tried something like that and also let people know if you know anywhere they can get uh, heel tips because i really do not know where and that's gonna be it thank you so much guys for watching see you in my next video thank you guys see ya